There's no doubt I spend a lot of time thinking about dinosaurs and not only thinking about dinosaurs, but thinking about where we can go to currently see them. And unfortunately we can't. So the next logical step is I spend a lot of time thinking about what animals may have resembled them. Now, unfortunately there is no theropods. I don't think there's anything that resembles a T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus. But when it comes to sauropods, hear me out on this, I do feel in my heart that elephants may just be a minor representation of what sauropods were. Now, depending on who you ask in this community of paleontology, you're gonna get a different response. Now, there is a 2022 study linked in the comment section down below that believes that sauropods may have indeed walked like hippos. It had always been thought by a lot of people that sauropods would have walked similar to elephants simply because elephants are big land animals and sauropods were the biggest land animals of all time. But this new study from 2022 states that it's possible that sauropods may have indeed walked like hippos. Now, they use this type of diagonal gait. Again, down in the comment section if you want to read more in detail. But they use this type of diagonal gait so that they always verified that there was one limb on one side on the ground and another limb on the other side always on the ground at once to stabilize, counterbalance their great body so they didn't teeter and fall over. So I found that interesting. I had always thought and assumed that they probably walked just like elephants and this study is kind of showing us that it may have indeed been the opposite. They may have walked like hippos. Hippos did not have long limbs like elephants do. So it's an interesting thought nonetheless. But there are some similarities, I think, between elephants and sauropods. You know, elephants routinely protect their young from lions. They'll form a wall around their young. They'll routinely chase lions on the Serengeti and kind of, am not ambush, but kind of charge forward toward them. I envision that sauropods might have done the same, fiercely protecting their young with the adults and their big, giant limbs, forming a wall around the young from approaching theropods. And who knows, maybe even racing out and charging as fast as they could at some of these attacking theropods. So I like to think that sauropods and elephants might have shared some family traits together, how they lived with their young, how they protected their young. But it does appear that if you're looking for an answer, elephants are not the answer as far as how sauropods walked. Looks like hippos may have indeed been the answer. So again, it's kind of cool. We don't have any way of knowing for certain. We don't have any way of going back and knowing in the past. These are people's theories. They get peer reviewed in papers. And if it's accepted by enough people, it, it gets accepted as a theory. So love to hear your comments on the comment section down below. Do you think that elephants are a good small window that we can look into in regards to how sauropods would have lived and gone about their day. Love to hear your comments in the comments section down below. Take care.